Hello everyone and welcome to game three in a series. Game three, so far on the bottom right hand side or the, at the six o'clock position we have the orc player, night elf spawning as green here. Meanwhile, double human coming in from Yumiko and Samdan. Now this is Lost Temple, which is a very, very human favored map. And I'm curious as to um, what the strategies will be. So far, no speeding on any altar of kings that I see. And both of these players may try to establish an expansion early. Now, it's been quite a while since I've cast the game on Lost Temple. Lost Temple, one of those old but um, good old maps that have, that's that been rotated out of the tournament scene since about 2009. So we'll see how it does um, in, in terms of 2v2 now. As the Altar of Storms about to be completed, most likely Blade Master Demon Hunter combination coming in from the Orc, Orc Night Elf side. Meanwhile, are we going to see an Archmage Mountain King combination? No, Archmage Archmage. So Archmage Archmage coming in so far, and we'll see what the strategies will be. All right. Barracks currently being established as well. That barrack seems a little bit later than normal, but then again, I don't know all of the timings in 2v2s. Down over here, Ancient of War is also training up some archers. Perhaps two archers can be trained in time before that Demon Hunter does pop on out, or perhaps just one as the Ancient of War does need to make its way down over here in order to tank some of that damage and perhaps set up an expansion. Wisp now running away, or I guess floating away from a footman. The footman won't be able to catch up as the Wisp does have um, faster movements or the same movement speed as a Footman. One of the only units, a uh, Harvesters, to actually have a decent movement speed in the game um, besides Militia form, but then again, it's not really harvesting. All right, Footman and Militia making their way over. Archmage could drop in a Water Elemental and now try and expand right here. Meanwhile, we'll see what Yumiko does. Yumiko actually opting to opting to creep out the center. Ancient of War, Demon Hunter now creeping down over here as well. So we see Yumiko doing an uncharacteristic creeping out of the temple here on Lost Temple. Meanwhile, Blade Master perhaps will be coming around the corner as well as we do see a Troll Shadow Priest. Archmage now getting up to level 2, and we should be seeing an Arcane Tower established here in just a moment. Water Elemental low on hit points, going to get attacked. Do not want to feed any experience whatsoever if you can avoid it. Meanwhile, Blade Master going after some low hit point peasants. Peasant gets taken down. Another peasant may get taken down here in just a moment. As the footman, oh, that peasant able to slip away. Is it going to be able to hide inside the gold mine? No, it is not. As... The Orc player doing a great job just killing a lot of peasants here. So far, what's going to be happening here? Make sure that um, this one guy, yes, Windwalk Strike coming back out. Multiple peasants now getting taken down. But workers are not nearly as important as a 12, 13 hit point D Blade Master able to escape. Meanwhile, Demon Hunter in the center. Archmage not even at level 2 yet. As the Demon Hunter looked like he wanted to try and get a mana burn off on that Archmage. Unable to as it was just beyond line of sight. Voodoo Lounge has been placed right here just outside the temple. Archmage still wandering around here. Footmen now making their way up the ramp. Perhaps going to be trying to do a little bit of pressure. Hunter's Hall in a curious location. Perhaps hiding in plain sight. As an archer now shadow melding making sure to not get taken down by militia. Coming back over here. Demon Hunter going up against an Archmage. Archmage. Under the, other, under the protection of an arcane tower, does it not have to worry very much at all. Meanwhile, it looks like the Blade Master, no. Blade Master and Demon Hunter are not taking this opportunity to creep. And with that, they are, they are going to give a very strong economic advantage and be even in terms of heroes. That is not a smart call whatsoever. Fountain of Health is in the center. Footman and Archmage now waking up those creeps, dealing some damage across the center of the board. And what will be happening? Blade Master now going off. No Wardens. No Overseer is coming back over. As long as these units are focused down, there shouldn't be a problem. Blade Master sitting at level 1, though, may be a bit of a problem there as it cannot take that much damage. Meanwhile, Demon are now coming back over as well. Are we going to see some more focusing of some other units? Blade Master now looking to regenerate some hit points. The Archmage getting off some damage here. Archmage still seeing that level 1. Blade Master trying to get to level 2 will be able to do so just now and also is still regenerating some hit points because he's fighting next to the fountain. Grunt now down to very low gets taken out. Archmage sitting at level 1 still as the Blade Master is going to try and chase. I don't think it will work out. 
crazy, crazy fights in the center as the Null Overseers are still alive. All right, Null Poacher may get taken down here. Blade Master should be able to finish it off. There it goes. Two Water Elementals now joining up in the fight in the center. Meanwhile, Footman and Footman now retreating back here, perhaps. No, retreating back here. Where? Here, perhaps. Not quite sure why they're actually running this way. Not retreating, attacking as Yumiko and Samdan looking to play, put down the pressure. All right, Shadow Hunter is not yet up. Attacking right as Tier 2 is done. A normal timing attack to s try and deny the Spirit Lodges. You can see that the Orc Burrow will get taken down very quickly. Footman now trying to take down this bestiary. And it, we are getting the Scroll of Town Portal. Most likely the Night Elf Army will be arriving. No, the Blade Master actually didn't sell his scroll. And we do have a fight here. The Archmage now is in trouble. What is going to happen here? It's going to be forced to burn a scroll of Town Portal in order to get the heck out. And it will be able to do exactly that. The Peon, now losing some important, important building time, will need to reestablish that Spirit Lodge and that Bestiary. Coming back over here, Huntresses causing a bit of problems. Just turn around and f attack those lower hit point footmen as the Huntresses do have that Glaive damage bounce once more footman getting caught out of position here as perhaps it was mis rallied or was not there scout farm is established over here by samdan as the units are retreating again all right null overseers will finally get taken down all the huntress is focusing on a unit a little bit of bounce damage onto this null overseer as well but because of the focus fire and the huntresses will be pretty much be at full hit points at the end of this meanwhile the null overseer will be dead leaving even more items all right, Demon Hunter seeing that level 3. What other item will be dropped? Mana Stone and a Potion of Healing. Very nice items. But you got to remember, this is Lost Temple. And Lost Temple means no Tavern Heroes for Pandas. Pandas are very, very good to counter all of these footmen. But it looks like we're going to be going into that Blizzard... Um, Blizzard Flame Strike strategy that we saw earlier. Here we go. There's an engagement at the Towers. And this is a full army attack now coming in. Huntress is looking to shut down this town hall. The town hall taking a lot of damage. And where is a flame strike? I do not see it. No flame strike, no siphon mana. What is going down? Siphoning the mana away from that shadow hunter. And there, what is going to be happening next? Perhaps trying to give more mana to or taking away mana from that demon hunter again. Archmage, low on hit points. Does have a potion of lesser invulnerability. Low hit point footmen, four of them. Backed away, beautifully done. And now a scroll of healing going to be used in order to heal back up and get them back all into the orange. A beautiful play there, there, as the demon hunter now still tries to lead this army. Low hit point huntresses need to get away. Um, are we going to perhaps see a flame strike? No, still no mana on that blood mage. And with that archmage trying to get to level 2 for Blizzard, Blizzard could turn around this fight absolutely. Low hit point units all gathered together. And now here we go, a guard tower going to get focused down by these Huntresses rather quickly here as we now see more Siphon Mana level 2 now on the Archmage. That means Blizzard is going to be raining down from the sky, hitting a lot of these Huntresses here as another Siphon Mana. And it really feels like the Night Elf is focusing too much on the towers and not enough on the army. And because of that, all of that AoE damage is going to start to add up over time. You can see so many Huntresses taking damage and there you go another blizzard coming in so many low hit point huntresses they cannot afford to stick around um, as another one water mental can just like fire three uh, uh, shoot three attacks from those water cannons and deal all the damage here we go another siphon mana back into that archmage archmage now back to 111 gonna get up onto the high ground and now rain blizzard once more attacking some of the units there huntresses are taking some damage two of them do go down and a beautiful play there as the Archmage from the high ground, able to rain attacks down on the low ground, now needs to re-engage. Blade Master still fighting it out here. Siphon mana away from the um, away from the Blade Master again. And we are gonna see another blizzard come in. Blade Master unable to really shut down this Archmage, and it's really this level two Archmage that is destroying this entire army of huntresses. So many blizzards. Level 1 Blood Mage, Level 2 Archmage, and a whole bunch of heroes to feed mana from has been the problem. The Demon Hunter didn't even bother mana burning that Blood Mage. You just want to make sure mana is spent at this point in the game. Raider now caught out of position once more. It will get taken down. Paladin out for Yumiko. So it it is everything but the Mountain Kings this time around. We are at keep.
And we'll take a look at what's happening here. We are trying to establish a tree of life down over here. Units are still wandering around. You can see Fountain of Health. Blade Master, Shadow Hunter sticking close by. Going to be able to regenerate some hit points. Demon Hunter now going to try to creep out here. And it's funny. Warcraft 3, Reign of Chaos. So much creeping that go would go on inside the Lost Temple. But now that players have gotten so much more efficient, because they these are all green creep camps, these players don't even feel that it's necessary to try and creep them out. All right, Blade Master now coming back down over here. Rock Golem, Troll High Priest, Troll Berserkers. What items will be purchased? A potion of lesser invulnerability plus a scroll of healing. Meanwhile, the Ogre Lord now going to get taken down. Legion of Doomhorn, Unholy Aura on a Paladin. One step closer to becoming a Death Knight named Arthas. Archmage now making its way back down here. Where will it be traveling to next? How much damage will it be able to do? And will these Huntresses perhaps be able to shut down this expansion again? There is still one Arcane Tower, but the Huntresses do have just enough range to stay beyond. And here we go. What's going to be happening next as the Demon Hunter What is, is actually moving on movement formation, which is causing problems and now need to try and get away. Blade Master now making its way over. Is it going to be able to get any damage here as the Orc army is here? So the two armies will be regrouping together once more as some Spirit Walkers now re-emerging. All right, one low hit point Huntress, two low hit point Huntresses now giving level three to that Archmage. Archmage sitting at level three and apparently a wall of units causing all of these units to just stick around and not do very much of anything. Raiders, Grunts now heading back off to the north. There are some towers off over here. We can see the Huntresses are trying to come down over here. It looks like the Rock Golem was taken down. And the Huntresses are now making their way over. As the Archmage and the Paladin are looking to finish off these Troll Berserkers. One Water Mental coming in. And it looks like the Demon Hunter is trying to creep out this particular creep camp. Pick up the item and then scroll of Town Portal away. May be forced to use a scroll of healing here. Is this one Huntress going to get taken down? It looks like it will. Scroll of healing it has been used. Picked up the item. Scroll of Town Portal. Pendant of Mana has been dropped. and there Or Pendant of Energy has been dropped. As we now see another clear out here. We see an engagement here. And a beautiful attack with Pillage, most likely. Raiders attacking, Grunts attacking, and now a whole bunch of Peasants trying to repair. Ensnare is going down, and if, as long as a well, Scroll of Town Portal now coming in, Yumiko will be able to save this here as we now see more attacks coming back in once more. Slow, Spirit Walkers are ready to engage. There's an Archmage off over here as well, so we could see a bit of Blizzard and now a Scroll of Town Portal for a retreat as we are going into some guard towers back down here. All right, mortar teams and flying machines now being added as well. Are we going into fairy dragons? Ancient of Lores, no Ancient of Winds that I can spot. Uh, Ancient of Wind, no Ancient of Lores. So triple Ancient of Lores? Triple Ancient of Lores coming in from the Night Elf. Down over here, Scout Farm now turning into money for the Orc player. Another creep camp going to be cleared out off over here. And these games are going rather long. 2v2s normally have um, just really, really strong timing attacks where both players just rush in on one and you're able to just completely overpower them. This doesn't seem to be the case right now as there seems to be three operational bases for each team. Casters, adept training on both the priest and I believe the sorceress. I do not think the spellbreakers have control magic, but there's no way for Ryu to really tell at this point. As now Yumiko is going into castle while Samdan is still staying at keep. A player's forces are under attack. Priest, sorceress now coming down over here. It looks like they are going to be an attack on the Ancient of Lords. Ancient of Lords now taking a bit of damage. Perhaps uprooting would be a good call right now since there are mortar teams in the mix. And meanwhile, where are these units all going to be going? Where are they traveling to? You can see flying machines still flying around. And one Ancient of Lore will get taken uh, taken down. Back over here, Ancient of Winds finally being added. This, These mortar teams are going to absolutely destroy this. As so far, we've seen at 50 over 60. Where is the Night Elf army at this point? Um, where is the Night Elf army? Off over here again. Mortar teams are going to have a little bit of problem, problems as we see a scroll of Town Portal come back in. All these units will be able to retreat very nicely and easily. As now Raiders scroll a town portal in over here. Demolisher joining in on the fight. 
and there is a Kodo Beast for a, con a more auras as well. And these battles happening on different sides of the map all at the same time. So difficult to keep track of. Paladin, is he going to read a Tome of Agility? No, he's not. Paladin still seeing that level 2. We are now going to see what uh, I believe that was a, an Arcane Tower that was taken down. Meanwhile, Shadowhunter looking to take down this Rock Golem here alongside a Blade Master. Clarity Potion on that Shadowhunter. Um, I can't even keep track of the heroes. 3-3 three, three on the Orc. Um, Paladin or the Pink is 3-2. Meanwhile, Human is sitting at 3-2. And where is Perp or where is Green? All right, Green is sitting at 4 and almost level 5. Demon Hunter now coming back in. Claws of Attack plus 6. Not given to the Blade Master still, surprisingly, as he doesn't have that much bonus attack. Now coming back in along the top. Is the Demon Hunter going to perhaps rush in inside here? No, going to go ahead and try to take down the Barracks instead. Barracks will fall rather quickly. Demon Hunter now pulling away just outside Guard Tower range. And now this may be a bad engagement for Teal, as Teal is actually going to be pincered here. No, not pincered. Raiders now coming in, getting off a couple in snares, and now this one particular Shadow Hunter, or this one particular Blood Mage who was hexed by the Shadow Hunter, gonna fall. Level four now on that Blade Master. And where is the rest of the fights going to be coming in from? Ancient Protector now being added here. Guard Tower now also being upgraded. Coming down over here, a scroll, a town portal, teleporting back down over here. Motor teams going to perhaps push back. Another attack here as Guard Towers here are all going to get cancelled as well. One Ancient Protector up and operate, or will be up and operational momentarily. Still three bases to three so far. As the main bases should be um, running out sometime soon. It looks like in about... Five minutes, those bases will be mined out. Four to five minutes. Huntresses uh, now coming in. Blood Mage seeing that level one quickly back out already as the rest of the team now coming in to join in on the fight. The Demon Hunter does have a scroll of town portal and realizes that he needs to get away from the Archmage and those spell breakers. Now simply retreating, but now going to be attacking another location as well. Down over here, Arcane Sanctum is going to be taking a lot of damage. And the Spellbreaker may not even make it out here as we see some Spirit Link. And what is that? Was that a, actually a Stasis Trap? No. Just a Sentry Ward. We do not have Stasis Traps just quite yet. I want to see a Stasis Trap. Sentry Ward being placed down and said not quite sure what the state... Uh, the Sentry Ward will be able to do as we now see one Spellbreaker getting taken down. Alright, Demolisher launching some rocks over here at this Guard Tower. We now see a Squirrel of Town Portal coming in. Who is it? And where is it landing? Off to the north. Archmage Scroll of Healing, not enough Demolishers to really engage here as we are going to be seeing a fight. Spellbreakers out of position, Demolishers trying to attack. They really need to attack this cluster here as we now see an Ensnare. Blood Mage seeing that level 2 is going to be able to barely escape. There's a Disenchant on a, on a Blood Mage able to uh, barely escape. Is it going to be able to fall once more? No, Invisibility attacked, but it was once again Disenchanted, I believe, as the Demolishers are now still launching more attacks. This is a bad engagement for the Caster army here as the Demolishers are just, I believe, attacking the ground around all of these units here. Flying Machine is in the air. That means Windwalk will not be all that successful. Meanwhile, we see another attack back over here. The Bears are now finally out. All right, Kodo Beast and Demolishers, both sides still attacking. Demolishers now trying to run away. Spellbreaker is now trying to come in. Both sides attacking here. Blade Master going to engage and get in a little bit more damage once again. Raiders going after the Spellbreakers. The Spellbreakers actually dealing more damage than the Raiders as the spell, um, or dealing bonus damage as we see now an invisible Water Elemental making its way in. Perhaps it's going to try and focus down this one Demolisher. Yes, it is going to be doing exactly that. This Demolisher is relatively low on hit points and now needs to be very, very careful. So an invisible summon in order to try to take down a Demolisher. The Water Elemental, oh, was chomped on by a Kodo Beast. Bu brilliantly done as we still see more and more fighting. Sorceress is still trying to engage. Priest in the backfield. The Demolisher are going to try to launch, but Militia now coming in, finishing off the one Demolisher. And as soon as this Demolisher gets taken down, I don't believe the casters have much to worry about. Split fighting. Another fight happening over here. Bears now going after Mortar Teams as well. The Mortar Teams do have normal armor. The Bears are uh, moving surprisingly quickly as the... Oh, the Blood Mage may have gotten taken down there. A holy light saving the, the human tri-hero coming in from Yumiko. As the Demon Hunter may get off another hit on the back of the Mortar Team. Yes, it does get taken down, but that is a lot of Guard Towers. Coming back to this fight, two 1v1 games happening all at the same time. 
Demolisher up on the high ground, still launching more attacks from the low ground, perhaps should position himself right here to attack down onto the low ground. Are we going to see exactly that? Kodo Beast could eat some more units as well, as we are now seeing an engagement back on these buildings. These buildings, no more production buildings for Samnon, no more casters, nope. Arcane Sanctum was rebuilt off over here. Meanwhile, Siege Engines now attacking the Tree of Life here at the 9 o'clock position. Flying Machine now trying to engage with nothing really to attack Anella. A Holy Snare, we are going to be getting a Staff of Teleportation, I believe. No, a Squirrel Town Portal to retreat and where did it go? It did not even go down here to try and save this Tree of Life. How, how, um... How, how sad. All right, it looks like it will get saved. Those, those siege engines will get taken down in just a second. There it goes. As we are now seeing a major attack happening down over here. The mortar teams and a, now a, a two-prong attack will be coming in. Yumiko still knows that there is no expansion here. Knights are being added by Yumiko. No animal war training that I can see um, off of the solo barracks since the other barracks was taken down. Archmage, Archmage, Sorceress now coming in, and we could be getting a bit of a flank. What is happening over here? The Night Elf player now deciding to attack away from the rest of the army. Good. This could be a bad engagement 2v1 here, as there is both the Pink Army and the Teal Army, or the Light Blue Army coming in here. Speed Scroll now being utilized in order to get the units away. The Kodo Beast did not activate that Speed Scroll, now trying to get away. Not going to work out well, as it slow has been cast. Meanwhile... All right, Demon Hunter and the team of Druid of the Claws now pushing their way in. Roar Rejuvenation Aura on a Rejuvenation cast on that Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter may be able to even get to level 6 here if it takes on all of these Guard Towers. The Guard Towers do give experience, I believe, yes. And there is still three more Guard Towers left. Coming back over here, um, do we have a Scroll of Town Portal? Yes, we do on that Shadow Hunter. So Shadow Hunter and Blade Master... All right, I thought I saw Blade Master. Yes, level 5 Blade Master, level 5 Shadow Hunter. Orc team working out very well here as we now see a scroll of Town Portal coming in. Demon Hunter in a bit of trouble. Mana burn, siphon mana, both sides fighting it out. Demon Hunter needs to get to level 6. If it can get to level 6, that would be absolutely huge. No staff of preservation, though. As a bear goes down, that was a horrible mistake. As more and more units need to get taken down. Yes, level 6 now on the Demon Hunter. And, oh, just loses the mana for... Metamorphosis and now being now being forced to utilize a scroll town portal back over here another engagement town hall goes down So I don't know how this is a bad day to be a, a town hall apparently In this 2v2 matchup as we are still seeing more and more buildings fall left and right All right main gold mines have been mined out it is now a uh, one gold mine to one gold mine on each of these bases. Mortar teams now pushing in here. It looks like the orc base will be taken out in just a second. All right, guard towers will get uh, will fall here. Blade master seeing that level five. Shadow hunter still seeing that level five. No sign of level six anytime soon. Spellbreakers are now falling. Let's take a look at the overall supply. 55 over 60 for the orc. Yumiko sitting at 51 over 84. 51 over 84. 47 over 90. Both sides. Still looking very, very strong as we're continuing another engagement. Arcane Sanctum will get taken down. And Pillage may be the name of the game here to give more and more gold to the Orc players. And then funnel it to the Night Elf who is still able to train up more units. So, uh, what is this? We are now going into Chimeras. So Chimeras have now taken to the skies. As you know, Chimeras cannot attack Spellbreakers. Metamorphosis, the perfect attack for that... Um, for that... Um, that demon hunter as we see more and more buildings are now taken down all right buildings taken down and now the archmage is just pushing in the rest of these buildings over here down it goes what is going to be happening next more creeping going off in the center samdan is uh, samdan and yumiko do not have the hero advantage whatsoever one of the benefits of fighting against towers is that if the towers do kill the unit you don't gain experience or your opponent doesn't gain experience metamorphosis and oh this could be very bad the chimera is now trying to attack no upgrade on siege damage now needs to pull away siphon mana on the on the demon hunter demon hunter now needs to try to escape perhaps using a scroll town portal would be a very safe call here as that is a whole bunch of slow demon hunter now going to be using utilizing a scroll town portal is it gonna go no it is not it is just completely surrounded please use your scroll of town portal demon hunter what are you doing? Demon Hunter now trying to fight his way out. And you able to fight his way out there. And now going to continue this attack. Brilliant attack now. But the Chimera should just be attacking these guard towers. You can see how quickly they get taken down. They do not have the upgrade for Siege. Which is actually better right now. As all the guard towers will get taken down. 
Level 6 on the Demon Hunter, level 5 on the Shadow Hunter. And if that Shadow Hunter gets big bad voodoo, it will be a big bad day for the human army. As there is no Stormbolt to counteract this. Alright, Ethereal form onto a Chimera. Trying to take it out of commission te temporarily. Chimera does get taken down here. And what is this? The flying machines actually doing their job as anti-air. Both sides still fighting it up. It looks like Yumiko... And Yumiko and Samdan will be able to fend off this attack here. Siphon mana away from a Spirit Walker. Flame Strike, no. Ethereal, now more coming back in. And it looks like the Shadow Hunter is going to be out of mana. Where are the rest of the heroes? The Paladin's going to get taken out. Shadow Hunter looks like it will get taken out as well. Where are the rest of these heroes? Blade Master sitting at level 5. Shadow Hunter sitting at level 5. I'm not sure where the Demon Hunter went. Demon Hunter is off over here. It did not fall. But it may as well be dead at this point as there is no army standing uh, standing left. Paladin sitting at level 3. Divine Shield has been activated. Brilliant timing. Druid of the Claw now needs to try to get away. As we now see Ethereal form on a Blade Master just to try to slow him down. Scroll a Town Portal at 32 hit points. Druid of the Claw coming back around in order to get teleported back home. And now the Blade Master and the Shadow Hunter need to head over to the Fountain to regenerate hit points. Ugh. <sighs> Pendant of Energy has been left behind. Now we'll get re-picked back up after all the Moonwell drinking. Most likely the Druid of the Claw is going to use the, utilize that Moonwell and now be able to rejuvenate as we see the Demon Hunter uh, picking up and now up to 272 mana. All right, the fight is coming in. There's the rejuvenation. There is the Metamorphosis trying to break that. And is it going to be able to, yes, move away just far enough to break it? There's Ethereal 4, Metamorphosis, Siphon Mana losing even more mana. Druid of the Claw unable to get into Druid form as we now see the Blade Master going after the other units in the back. There is a Hex on to one of those Mortar Teams. The Mortar Team now pretty much neutralized, going after the other Mortar Team, trying to minimize the DPS. Siphon Mana now coming in. Wind Walk quickly being cast, or now trying to get away again. So far, the army size is now 29 over 60. That engagement with those Chimeras actually turned out to be very bad as it ended up evening up things when trying to engage against those guard towers there. No real way of healing. Metamorphosis, Superman, Demon Hunter still trying to win the, white all, win the fight all on his own. Not looking very good at all. And what looked like a good game for the Night Elf Orc team looks like it will be a clean sweep now. For the human duo, Yumiko and Samdan, yes, the Demon Hunter has fallen, and there is the GG. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.